Hello friends, it's Grace and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my July reading plans and so I've got a few categories for this and I'm combining a TBR and an MBR and basically just I mean, you could call the whole thing an MBR, but I do have some books that are more solidly in my reading plans, and then I have a longer list of ones that I'll get to if I have time, if I feel like it, etc. So I'm going to start with the books that I am definitely going to be reading in the month of July. And I'm going to kick it off with my patron pick for the month, which came from my good friend Mallory. And it is very appropriate that the wheel picked this one for her because she got me Canada by Richard Ford. And July is the month that has Canada Day in it. So why not? Um, this, honestly, I don't know too much about this book. This just strikes me as something that is like outside of my comfort zone, but it is historical and interesting. And to be honest with you, I don't even want to read the synopsis. I kind of want to just go into this not knowing and like have a wild time seeing what it ends up being. So I'm really happy that Mallory's pick one and that I'm going to get a chance to read this this month. And yeah, so that is my patron pick where I put everyone's picks on the wheel, spin, pick the winner, and this is it for July. So this is going to be a high priority for me. The second book that I am most definitely going to at least start in the month of July, and this has been a long time coming. A lot of you can probably guess what it is since it's a long time coming, and that is A Memory of Light by Brandon Sanderson and Robert Jordan, the final book in The Wheel of Time, arguably the final book, I suppose, uh, New Spring, depending on how you order it in your head. The prequel could come after the main timeline, but this is the big finale. And so I'm very excited for this. I'm partway through Towers of Midnight right now, and I'm hopefully going to finish the bulk of that in June and not roll too much of it over into July. But even if I start this in late July, I am definitely going to be starting it. And like I said, I am very hyped for it. Obviously, I am still, like I'm not clean slate ready for this book yet because I'm still in the midst of the 13th but um, I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to see how this wraps up. It's so epic and I am so excited. So yeah, this one will definitely be happening in July. Next up is another series continuation, but this is a buddy read and that is The Fifth Elephant by Terry Pratchett. So me and Ben from Overly Average, Ben of course, uh, we have been buddy reading the, the City Watch subseries of Discworld for a while now. And this one has been a long time coming because we took a break after the fourth book because we realized that when we were buddy reading The Live Ship Traders by Robin Hobb. Um, we wanted to do that month to month to month, uh, three months in a row for those books. So this got put on the back burner a little bit, but these are lighter, easier, like palette cleansers. So it's okay. Like I don't feel, um, bad that I have missed some months on this because it's not as though I'm going to forget vital information. Like I can get back into this. It's like slipping back into like a comfy pair of pajamas and Terry Pratchett's comfort writing. Uh, these are comfort books. So I'm really looking forward to continuing this buddy read with Ben. Then next up, of course, I have an absolutely massive edition of this, but we have um, a Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, and that is pretty much certainly going to be the Discord, like, buddy read slash book club pick for the month. Um, and this was from other Ben from Discord, although it is on mine and Ben's joint Discord. And so I have this entire collection, the illustrated edition of the books, and yet I have not cracked it open. So I was quick to vote for A Wizard of Earthsea, and I'm really excited uh, to get into like some of this classic fantasy, and I'm excited to get into this gorgeous edition of this book, look at some of the illustrations. Man, I can't hold that up the whole time. <laughs> and just kind of see where, where fantasy was at and um, experience like the legendary status of Ursula K. Le Guin, because she is definitely 
actually someone who is well known and has been around for a while, but I've never experienced her. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And as always, if you do want to join our Discord uh, for the book club or just to join it, I do always have that linked in my description. Now I made a very long might be read pile in June, so I do have some carryover from that and I decided to just continue that being my long list of books I wanted to get to for this month as well because it makes sense like I wanted to get to those books last month and I could rotate them out for other picks but I still want to read them so they're carrying over. So the first one of those is Heartstopper by Alice Oseman, and I have said multiple times now that I'm just really looking forward to this as a cute and heartfelt read, and I'm also really looking forward to the experience of the graphic novel because I think that the art style is really cool. Next up, we have Tokyo Ever After, which is a retelling of The Princess Diaries in a more modern sense, and um, I'm really excited for this one too for a lot of the same reasons. It also has a little bit of nostalgia attached to it since I love The Princess Diaries and it just seems like it's gonna be really fun. Then on the list we have the two picks that resulted from my scavenger hunt to choose my next book which was The Ember Blade and From the Ashes which were both words that were related to fire because I don't actually have an unread book on my shelves with the word fire in the title. So this is a like memoir story by Jesse Thistle about the experience of of growing up being Métis and so this is a very like relevant Canadian read as well to go along with um, the relevance of like the month of July for Canada Day and all that stuff. This would be a really cool book to get to this month. And then The Ember Blade is like an epic fantasy. Um, at this point I've had this on my TBR for so long that I don't really remember the synopsis, but I do remember that it's kind of about like two best friends who get out of maybe like prison or some sort of confinement and then go on an adventure together. And it's um, a very strong like friendship, fun vibes. So I've been looking forward to this one for a long time and I still am. And then finally, there are two audiobooks that I have um, on hold or like borrowed from my Libby app. And I am looking forward to getting to those hopefully as my two audiobooks for the month of July. So the first of those is In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. And this is about uh, a reunion of six friends from college or university. And back at the end of their time at university, I think there was a murder that really impacted them and kind of fractured their friend group. I'm not sure if it was just someone close to them or if it was actually a member of their friend group that was murdered. So this is like 10 years later and there's one person who is not allowed, not allowing themselves to let this matter rest and needs to solve the case and it almost gives me Pretty Little Liars vibes because it seems like there's a person who wants to solve this that is then going to be terrorizing the friends in this book. And so it sounds really interesting. I'm hoping that it's going to be fast paced and thrilling. And uh, the other audiobook that I'm looking forward to is Dial A for Aunties by Jesse Q. Sutanto. And this one, I believe, is a wedding planner or like the family is wedding planners. And there is something about like needing to call her aunties for help with a dead body or something like I think this is gonna be like a comedy thriller sort of thing so it's a very interesting combination of vibes and I think that's why I'm so intrigued by it but it does seem really fun as well so hopefully I will get to both of those and that is it for my July reading plans who knows whether I will stick with this or whether I will go off the rails but there are a lot of really really highly anticipated reads for me here and that is it for this one so please let me know what you think of my list like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you would like to see more content from me. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. And again, I have all of my links like Patreon, Discord, socials down in my description if you're interested in any of that. And with that said, I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye! I would like to give a shout out to my latest patron, Evie from She Was Only Evie. Thank you so much, Evie.